Oh. I think my next best chance of getting the rest of the... Oh, I almost died there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there's a slight chance I might be able to regain stuff now. Break in for points. Because the more points you get, the higher the chances you are of getting an extra... Ooh, shield. I don't know how, how, how this might help me, because I honestly think I've, uh... Ha. Uh, so take my time and actually grab these rings. Okay, if I can find seven rings, which is hopefully will be likely, I should be able to try my luck at the third special stage. That is, of course, assuming nothing goes wrong. And nothing unexpected interferes with the show. And that's why everything, every last... Damn it. Well, I got zero for... Mm. So that means I have to basically get two in Spring Yard. Ugh. I think I've already screwed up my chances of getting, a chaos, of getting the chaos, all six Chaos Emeralds. I'm not gonna lie. The next zone, uh, the next, uh, yeah, next zone after, uh, Marble Zone is Spring Yard Zone. A really fun stage that, uh, I'll talk more about it later. Now, basically, there are two paths you can take in, um, Act, ugh, yeah, Act 3. You can, you can take this path, which I'm currently traveling on, or, or you can take a different path. Then this path is bridges that fall under lava, crushers, and whatnot. Unfortunately, the path I tend to, ah, I guess talking about running animation. Fortunately, the path I tend to take has, uh, no, um, basically no, uh, checkpoints anywhere to be found, except towards the end when you actually, uh, battle Robotnik. Which I don't mind, it basically gets me through the level a bit faster than, well, normal, but... Are we coming up to that bit? Because there's a really annoying, uh, lava plume bit that's not fun. And here it is, I think. Yes. I'm gonna wait for the second one. And now I shall move on. Killing Spiny Caterpillar. And we're coming up to another neat little shortcut for this act. I'll wait for that one to fall down. Up here is a hidden hole that will snag us an extra life. However, we keep going and it leads us to another uh, spike trap. But this one we can easily mine, uh, get through the gap and kill these annoying bats. Which leads us to a staircase of spikes. As well as a ring box. And then we have to do some pretty, pretty nasty precision platforming across uh, some of the weights. As we have to not only deal with uh, jumping over um, spikes on small platforms, but also making sure we can clear the gaps in between some of the uh, weights, as well as killing some bats. However, it's uh, once you get past that, the rest of the level is actually pretty easy. Couple rings here, jumping a pretty nice giant gap and fireballs, which I now absolutely hate. And then we're battling Robotnik. This boss fight is actually uh, is also pretty easy. He basically flies back and forth, dropping down uh, balls of fire, which basically ignites the platform you're standing on. It's basically a simple matter of jumping back to, jumping to the other side, and of course jumping to him when he comes back across, and once more when he's above you, just for a few extra hits. And he goes down pretty easily. And he runs away, we step on the egg capture device, and we free the woodland creatures of Marble Zone, which involves red and white squirrels. Hmm, I've never seen a white squirrel before, but that's what it is, so... Hey! Whatever works. Right? Right? Ah, Spring Yard Zone. A really, really fun zone that's fun and awesome. Not... It is fun. Uh, boss fight in here is actually a pretty ingenious, inventive one. And this one's actually a lot of fun because it introduces us to the wonders of bumpers and whatnot. As well as a pretty, uh, pretty awesome uh, spinning mechanics you can pull off in this stage. Uh, funny thing about this stage is the music's actually really pretty cool for... It's actually... 
Yeah, it's actually like one of my favorites from the original Sonic game next to um, Starlight Zone. However, when I was a kid, this music used to creep the shit out of me. I would literally have nightmares about this song. However, the one issue I have with this stage is that enemy. I believe the enemy is simply called Ball, but basically what Ball does, it basically reenacts Sonic Spin Dash, and the, if you keep on running from it, it will eventually catch up with you, and if you're not careful, it can do some... it will hit you, and the bastard's pretty hard to avoid. That is the only annoying enemy in this level. Besides that, we have we have our standard crabs and buzz bombers are back. And we also have to worry uh, about... I believe this is also where uh, the uh, snails come in. Take this nice little... Not really shortcut, it's just mainly used to grab some extra rings in case we needed them. So at this point, I really wish I had... Um, a shield. Now, these little elevator-like platforms, if you're not careful, these things will basically get you a surprise cheap death, whether you like it or not, especially if you get caught in between them. Ah, there they are. Oh, you son of a bitch! God bless it. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting all the chaos emeralds here, folks. Basically, the way to deal with these guys is, like the uh, cal caterpillars before them, just basically spin, uh, spin dash into them. And, well, we'll go and collect these rings. I, it's probably completely pointless now, but... There's, a, there's an offbeat chance. Oh, never mind. There's a good chance now. Never mind. Snag that. 53 rings. Press that button. Go through. And boo-bam! Awesome! Got 50 rings, and we're going on to the next special stage. And this special stage isn't really one of my favorites, either. This one is basically a giant open area. There's no maze to solve. It's basically, uh, try to make your way to the center, which I just recently, which I just kind of found. And, of course, oh, never mind, I lost it once more. Because once you lose the damn center, it's... Found it. Okay, this is probably my best area to horror out, so let's go ahead and start destroying these colored blocks. Oh! Damn. Huh. Got an, uh... That was either an extra life or continue. Okay, that kind of worked, not really. Oh, did I actually hit one of the speed-up balls? Whoa! Not fun. Yeah, I did. Crap. Yeah, there's also these two weird balls that, that uh, say up or down, and basically whenever you touch them, it will like, either increase or decrease the speed of the... Uh... Oh, come on! The Chaos Emerald's right there! It'll either ink. Oh, no! <laughs> that was close. Gotcha. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a lot of fun. Hey, hey, and we got that continue. Alright, two down, four to go. Yeah, the original Sonic game originally had six Chaos Emeralds instead of the traditional seven as, it, as it's been since Sonic 2. Um, also, there's no Super Sonic in this game, that was also later, uh, ish, uh, first addressed in Sonic 2. Ooh. Ooh, gotcha. Ah, damn, two of the snails. These guys are just not fun, especially if you don't spin dash in time. And we have more spikes and a neat little, um, semi-open, yeah, semi-circle... Thing. Now, these things are a lot of fun to basically, you know, perform tricks, if you will, by, you know, basically spin dashing up and getting some pretty nice air, which can actually get you some cool places. Okay, there's three of them in a row. That's never... Ooh, hello. I think I shall. No shield, though, so... Probably gonna run into a ball enemy. Nope, and there's my shield. I can basically work... There we go. Work my way down there. I'm just trying to work my way around the bumpers and... Just stay on that bumper. There we go. Collect those rings, because... Screw it. Uh, basically, uh, 